a After years of playing second fiddle to newer pastimes like video games and online activities, slot car racing is joining other pre-digital throwbacks like puzzles, board games, and model kits as a popular diversion during these times. And Frank Tisson, president of New Jersey-based Carrera of America, joins us to get us up to speed on a way to spend some fun family time together. Hey there, Frank. Hi, Fiona. Thanks for having me. Of course. A lot of fun stuff there behind you. What did you guys notice after the month of March with your inventory? Yeah, that was quite an interesting development. So uh, while we have seen uh, returning interest in slot car racing in general over the last couple of years, then March hit and everybody was stuck at home. And uh, people, especially parents and grandparents, uh, apparently were remembering what uh, great fun they had with slot car racing when they were little, when they were kids. So this, of course, resurgence of vintage and throwback toys and games, you know, kind of as you mentioned, and slot car racing just kind of riding that crest right now. Um, are there any tips that you have, ways to make sure that you can master those curves at top speed? I figure I'm gonna go right to the top here and, and ask the guy who can help me get those bragging rights in my name. <laughs> you have to get a feeling for it. But that is uh, uh, fun of the game, is, is the learning curve, how to master it, get the experience, know exactly when, to, when you have to accelerate and when you have to slow down in the curve so that uh, your car doesn't come, become a plane. Um, but that's Unless all you want it to, unless that was your goal, you wanted to launch it off that track, right? <laughs> yeah, that, that's also uh, fun, uh, fun of the game. So, and uh, you want to uh, drive over a jump, you want to get it as far as possible. Uh, and there are points where you can crash the cars into each other. And we all know how uh, kids play. And, and as an adult, you might say, oh, you don't want to crash. Yeah, of course you want to crush. That's fun. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what you remember doing as a kid. And when you get this box, you know, the family gets to spend time together just putting the track together, right? And then maybe even making their own modifications to the track, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the setup is part of the fun and that you can modify your track layout. It can look different every day, every hour and do your own layout. You want to have a little bit more challenging or not, or you want to have a lot of straights and you can just speed down. Oh, uh, where can folks go for more information, Frank? Uh, just simply visit our website, which is uh, uh, carrera-toys.com. Okay, Frank, I got to ask you, do you have a favorite track set? <laughs> Yeah, I definitely I have. I, uh, uh, it's a little bit more like a realistic set, which is in our digital 132nd range, where you actually have the ability to mimic real race situations, where you have actually the uh, ability to uh, set virtual fuel levels. But uh, sometimes I also like the little more kit-related stuff, so something like a Mario Kart set. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that's intense, the Mario Kart set. Uh, Frank Tisson, president of New Jersey-based Carrera of America, thank you so much for your time, and stay safe. Thank you, you too.